Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy SR7 and welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing upgraded ones to watch Darwin Nunez. So as you can see, he is six foot one, right footed, high high work rates with three star skills, three star weak foot. He can play striker, centre forward and left wing as well, which opens up the field really nicely for squad building. Then looking at his stats, he's got 93 pace with 95 acceleration and 92 sprint speed. He's got 86 shooting with 88 positioning, 87 finishing and 90 shot power. He's got 74 passing with 77 vision and 82 curve. He's got 83 dribbling with 84 agility, 91 reactions and 89 composure. He does have 83 heading accuracy as well as 90 physical with 93 stamina and 92 strength. So those are the key stats in this card, that's what should make him good. But without further ado, let's get into the gameplay, let's see how he plays and I'll give you guys my thoughts on the card at the end of the video. So into the first clip here, we do steal the ball back there, we play it over the top to Darwin Nunez, he wins the ball back, Haaland onto it in a flash and he hammers it home into the empty net. Next up here, we do, well the opposition is attacking, we do win the ball back there in defence with Bremer, we get it with Teo Hernandez, play it out here, some nice interlinking play, Davos Silva gets into the ball, carries it out from the back beautifully, plays it across to Best, Best rolls it across the box to Darwin Nunez for an empty open net tap in. Beautiful goal there and some fantastic team play. Opposition attacking down our left flank here. We chase him down with Teo Hernandez. He does make the tackle as the guy tries to turn. He plays it out to Pedri. Pedri receives the ball here. Some nice dribbling before finding David Silva. David Silva carries the ball before finding a perfectly placed pass to Darwin Nunez. And Darwin Nunez, in the most Darwin Nunez fashion possible, scores a goal there to take us ahead. Up next here. We get the ball, we play it out wide to our fullback, down to Nakata there, some good dribbling and some nice play overall here to find the ball, played it on the field there nicely, the ball finds its way to Darwin Nunes, he goes for goal behind the defender's back, across the keeper and hits the back of the net. Beautiful goal there once again from Darwin. Darwin chasing the ball down again here, unfortunately we don't get it from a poor pass there, but we steal it back here, played to Darwin, a beautiful turn there and we see David Silva at the back post. Played over the top to him and he gets up the highest, wins the header and scores the goal to win us the game. Here we go again, ball onto Darwin Nunez, he goes across the keeper and he does score there, no mistakes, no issues and no chances missed. Here we go again with Darwin, we play it down to Darwin Silva, he slaloms his way through the opposition defence and he hammers the ball home into the near post. Darwin on the ball here, we go for the power shot, defender slides across it but cannot block it. We shoot over him and find the back of the net there with a plum. Here we go again, play the ball out wide. We receive it again here, play it down to Darwin. Darwin with some nice dribbling there. He shoots across the keeper and he does score yet again. Onto the ball now, keeper makes a mistake, finds his way to Darwin. We go for the power shot there and he throws it past the keeper yet again and finds the back of the net with no issues. Ball here onto Haaland. Haaland goes to the cross there, Darwin Nunez with the acrobatic finish and he puts that into the back of the net. Once again, a beautiful goal. Darwin again on the uh, ball there with a the power shot and once again just drilling it past the keeper. Just absolutely no chance. Ball squared yet to Darwin, great positioning from him to find his way into the box there and we do score yet again. Darwin Silva gets the ball again, carries it forward, he plays a nice pass here into Darwin Nunez. He shoots across the keeper and once again, he scores. Onto the ball now again with David, down to Darwin, Darwin with the chip shot there and a beautiful finish all round. Keeper didn't come too far off his line but it was far enough for Darwin to punish him. Onto the ball now again, running through on goal, we're going to go for goal one more time but we actually decide to try and dribble the keeper. We make a mistake there but Darwin doesn't make a mistake the second time around, floats that chip shot perfectly over the keeper's head to score the goal. We make an interception here in our half, in our box, we counter attack, turning defence into attack in literally seconds, beautiful play here, David Silva gets the ball, plays it down to George Best and we find Darwin Nunez there, through and goal, shoots across the keeper and he does score yet again. So as you can see, we do end the review with 8 games played, 21 goals and 4 assists, that just highlights how insane this card is, 25 goal contributions in just 8 games, I mean, that should tell you all that you need to know. So to give you a rundown of each stat individually, we'll start with pace. Darwin Nunez is rapid on this game. He is so so quick. I mean I'm sure pretty much most of you have tried his gold card at some point and you know how fast that card is. 
so you can just imagine how insanely quick this card is he is so rapid he is so fast nobody can get near him nobody can touch him and when he gets through on goal you are not coming close to, to stopping him he is like an absolute bullet train and he just flies across the field when it comes to shooting his shooting is also another huge huge stat on this card his shooting is insanely good i mean his finishing is insane his, his long shots are insane finesse shots left foot right foot inside the box outside the box it doesn't matter this guy can do it all he can shoot from anywhere he's got absolutely everything in his locker i mean the outside foot shots are not great because those have been severely patched but i mean other than that he can do it absolute everything give him a chance give him a half chance and he will tuck it away he just creates goals out of nothing pretty much like he does in real life he's such a chaotic player in this game as he is in real life as well i mean everybody says it he plays chaos ball in real life and like i said he plays chaos ball in this game as well so getting on to his passing again another stat that is not too relevant for a striker but having said that his passing is not bad by any stretch of the imagination his passing is actually pretty good his link up play between um, the other players in the team is actually really good as well he can play passes here and there and if you do need to find an uh, a teammate sorry he can do that his passing is by no means a downside on this card dribbling again he's a big guy you might think he might feel clunky he might feel like a bus but honestly he actually doesn't he feels quite smooth on the ball quite silky his close control is a bit touchy here and there at times but more often than not he gets the ball under control pretty quickly his movement is really good as well he can hold the defenders off as well and he turns off the back of defenders really nicely to get in behind all in all his dribbling is actually is pretty good to be honest it's a bit underrated i would say and you know he can get around the pitch with the ball without any problems getting on to physical another huge touch on this card this guy is a menace in game he is a bully he is an absolute man mountain honestly he is monstrous in game he is so quick he is so powerful he is so strong he can hold off the defenders he doesn't get pushed off the ball it doesn't matter who you've got he will hold them off he can play so well with his back to goal he holds he's like plays as a beautiful hold up striker as well he can just wait for players to run off him and then play them in behind he can do it all this guy is so so strong so all in all what do i think of this card honestly he is a fantastic player in game i mean Darwin Nunez's gold card was a huge, huge overpowered card at the early stages of this game. So you can imagine what a plus four upgrade is going to do to him. It has turned him into an absolute beast, a monster, a menace in game. He is so good. This guy is fantastic. Like I said, he can do it all. He's Suarez, he's Torres, he's everything wrapped into one. Literally, this guy is so good. He's, he's a fantastic player. He's a huge addition to any team. And honestly, he will do nothing but just benefit you every day of the week. He is so good and he will just take you to another level. He will win you games on his own and he does create chances out of absolutely nothing. So, do I give him the stamp of approval? 100% yes I do. This card is fantastic. He is so deservedly good and deserves all the praise he's getting. If you can afford him, get him into your team as fast as you can because he will get another upgrade pretty soon with the World Cup around the corner. So get him into your team. And just have fun with him because he will take you to another level in terms of attacking in terms of your overall team and he will just win you so many games on his own so what does he get out of 10 i give him a 9 out of 10 which is a fantastic rating it's a solid solid rating that's right up there with some of the best ratings that i've given four strikers on this game because honestly this guy is one of the better strikers in the game as well one of the better options in the premier league as well he is just so so good he's a fantastic card a fantastic player and he was 100% deserving of his rating. Okay, so anyway guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so already. And until next time guys, peace.